Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to NIMBY Rails. Now this uh, this here is the same uh, the same game that we started out uh, last time around. Uh, it's been a little while since I recorded it and I also added a little bit of extra business here and I changed the uh, the stuff here uh, in the uh, Calgary downtown to uh, basically I made everything subways. I borrowed a bunch of money and all that jazz. Uh, now, I did that, you know, just as an experiment because uh, money was not working so well. There was apparently a bug with uh, passenger satisfaction or something like that, which apparently the developer has corrected. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, also, uh, since then, I've got a new computer, so, you know, it uh, appears to be, um, well, working better. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, funny that. Um, anyways... Uh, there's been a few uh, beta releases, and this is the latest beta release that I'm playing as of the time as I'm as of when I'm recording this. Yes, I can English, really I can. Now let's uh, go in here and we'll look in the accounting, and uh, you can see we're picking up, uh, you know, a couple million or so, um, three million probably daily, uh, with just this, right? Uh, so what I want to do ultimately is I want to connect up uh, to the, I want to get a line all the way up to Edmonton here. Well, that's like 300 kilometers. That's going to be expensive to build. Uh, now where, where do I, but I want to take that out from somewhere where we can actually build a decent, uh, um, well, set of, uh, platforms right now from a role pet play perspective I think we probably want to put it under under the airport here right the the main connection station and then we can shove out our high-speed rail line straight up this way right uh, so that's kind of what I was thinking now uh, what I'm uh, I'm planning to do here is uh, do a little bit of uh, of planning uh, you know and then jump forward uh, probably to after I've actually built it because you know once you've seen someone monkeying around with constructing things forever uh, you know that uh, you've seen that once you know that's that's about all you need right right so yeah we're ticking up over three million uh, it's a weekday of course but yeah there's there is that um, so uh, now this uh, this setup here, uh, I kind of want to bring a connection point up from this line and across from this line. Uh, this line here kind of uh, mirrors the eventual uh, creation of the uh, Green Line project in uh, Calgary, which will come up through this way. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking... Uh, we can rough in a station here uh, right around the terminal, right? Uh, which is right around um, right around here. I th what? I'm confused. Oh, okay. Wait, what? No, I'm having a geography fail because I actually know the area and I was having a geography fail. No, never mind. Uh, so the actual terminal, airport terminal, is here. Uh, so from a role play, play perspective, probably want to put the station here. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's fire up our uh, uh, planning mode here. Now we're going to make this station underground, okay? And I'm going to make it, um, well, we can go say, wow, that's way too long. Uh, if we go in here, if we make it, uh, so if we make it the, uh, 200 here that means it's a 400 meter platform right i'm gonna make a 400 meter platform there right 
and that's going to be for the um, international uh, inner city train, right? Uh, I might end up with another one. Then I'm going to have one coming across this way, which will probably come out this way. So I'm going to need a couple of uh, smaller platforms, which I'm going to make a total of 200 meters long. So we can have one on this side. Well, I think we can have two on this side, actually. I'm going to use one platform per line to avoid uh, uh, potential uh, deadlock issues because we don't have proper signaling yet. And that, uh, you know, just build the thing um, right there. Okay, now we can grab this and fix that right okay so that's uh that's three platforms there right and we can just pretend that these are on different different levels or whatever uh so what i'm going to do i'm going to bring this line up and we're going to add what did i do here i went overland here didn't i i did uh, we're going to continue this up here uh, with a, uh, we're going to put a, hmm, yeah, we'll put a ground level platform here. There's, a, there actually is a, a, a station here. Um, uh, no. Uh, up to there. Okay. Uh, and then I think, yeah. So if I put another one, uh, right about here, I think, let's see. Um, yeah, I think that's probably about right. About here. Um, here. Right. And then the actual train line goes up along this way. Um, which uh, we might end up doing but we will branch off from here at the very least to go up this way. So I think I'm gonna put two platforms here, right? Yeah, we can put two platforms here uh, because we're gonna have, I'm gonna split the line here, right, ultimately. Uh, and then we can have a single line goes here and then up to here and then up around across to here, right? Uh, so let's uh, let's build some tracks here and uh, let's just see what ground level tracks would look like here. Uh, that's not terrible. So if we do that and then we do this. Um, six over. Yeah, OK. I think we can live with that. OK. I think we're going to need to viaduct through there. So. Um, right, we'll come up to here, right, up to here, then we will do a viaduct across here, like this. Oh, we need to do that, and then we can come across here, yep. Yeah. Then we can go back to ground level. Uh, to here. Uh, we'll come up. Yeah, we'll come up like that. Okay. So that would give us uh, three more, two more stations on this uh, this line here, right? 
Um, which we could definitely do. Uh, ultimately, I will send the uh, other line. It'll probably come around here and then around into here. Yeah, there's actually development all up in here in the actual city uh, now. But, uh, you know, that's uh, we're working with the map we have, right? So we got a connection point there. Now we're going to want a connection out of here. Now, if we were to come up. Oh, OK, well, let's do a subway under here. Yeah, realistically, this needs to be a subway. So we'll come around like this. And we'll also come down like this. This is going to be a lot more expensive, but uh, I think it's reasonably justifiable to make this a subway because we have to go under the airport, basically, right? So we got a connection point there, right? Um, now, let's see what the... Uh, I didn't pay attention to what the... Um, that's 294 in range, right? Yeah. So, there, there will be some level of demand coming up that way, but probably not a lot. Now, what I'm going to do... I'm going to go in here and we're going to close that and we will build everything because we have the cash, right? And then what I'm going to do is uh, grab this blue line here. Oh, grab this blue line here. Uh, what am I calling? Have I called this thing anything? Um, I called it downtown. Okay, so we go in lines, downtown, close that. Now, we got up here, Sunridge, okay. Where's Sunridge? Um... Sunridge, okay. So we're going to add a no. What? No. Well, that was dumb. Okay. Well, we're going to recreate the line. Uh, okay, well. <laughs> I'll be back after I've done that. Okay, I'm back. Right, now that I've uh, fixed all of that. Um, whoops. Uh, now that I've fixed all of that, screw up. Um, right, it looks like I don't have the line spacing quite right there. Uh, let's uh, slow this down so we can actually see something. Now. Okay. No, it might be pretty close. Whoops. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's just crank the uh, speed up here. Um... Now, I'm going to put a uh, train on this line here, too. So we'll go under trains. We'll purchase a new one. Now, we could go with the tram again at 70, 70K. But here, um, uh, I'm thinking we'll go with the, uh, the Caillou here, which has a huge capacity, but... It would, uh, way more capacity than we need, but it also does 120. We could go with that one. Uh, this one's even faster, but it's way expensive. 
Uh, this one, I kind of like the maximum passengers on that at 666. Um, this one does 220. Uh, well, we could go with that one. It's relatively cheap. We can't add more cars to it. Um, well, we could do that. We could. This one does 120 and carries 900. If we go the full length of it, hmm. You know what? Let's grab one of those. And then we're going to go lines. Uh, I should have done this first. We're going to create a new one. And this is going to be Calgary Airport. Right? Uh, we're going to again go price per kilometer. We're going to put that at one. Um, now, we're going to add stops to the line. So first of all, this one. And second of all, this one. Okay. And then uh, estimates. Uh, our train does 120, right? Yeah. Okay. Lines. So we'll estimate that at 120, right? And uh, so our length of travel is right. Okay. So we travel two minutes this way. Um, ah. No, uh, we're going to set the minimum interval to four minutes on this one. Okay, now uh, we can go back over in the train here and we can just assign the airport to it. Now, we've got a train winging back and forth there. Right, uh, so now let's, uh, let's check in on on the uh, the numbers here um, we'll move forward to the current day and we spent you know a stack of cash there um, right so now we've got uh, what are we we're collecting a five million in fares uh, did we just tick over to the next we ticked over to the next day yeah Okay, we're collecting five million in fares, right? Uh, almost. And running costs. Yeah. So some some real cash coming in. So basically, the uh, uh, the more uh, more stuff you get connected up, the more. Uh, more you end up collecting cash, right? Now here, now obviously here, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on the other lines here, this one, and I'm gonna go to re-estimate the travel times. Okay, and okay, I'm just resetting these things to uh, uh, to make sure 
that uh, the game has everything all clear. Um, right, 70, estimate, okay. Um, what trains am I using on here? Um, you are a tram, okay, yeah. Good, okay. So, uh, that's, uh, that's one part of the grand plan here. Uh, I need to get a little bit more uh, daily income going before I start uh, expanding things too much further. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to expand this up up this way. Uh, so, uh, let, so I'm just going to grab a station. Now here, I think I'm going to have to do subways. If I want to keep the... Uh, uh, keep the the uh, thing here the way it's going, but I got to go check on something here. So I will be back Okay, so that was a uh, delivery at the uh, At the door and I had to deal with it. Okay Now I was going with uh, Subways here uh, Yeah So uh, I'm gonna put couple more stations up along here I think we can get away with one here yeah yeah that'll have a good catchment so uh, there we go put a station there and we're gonna want one here uh, that's got a good catchment and this is where the connection from the airport is going to come. So we'll put another platform going this way. Right? Just so. Okay. That gets us uh, quite an expensive build there. Uh, but it does allow us to, well, do some stuff here. Now, we're going to put also... A platform over here a station over here um, uh, because we might as well put uh, something that col to collect the uh, stuff here and I think what's that what's the game gonna give for a catchment here uh, maybe that's worth doing as well. Okay, so those are ground level. Right, okay. Now, we need to connect. Now, can we connect this at ground level-ish? I think we can. Not like that. Yeah, okay, we can connect that at ground level. Uh, we're going to have to, I think, come out of here in a tunnel. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that, and we can come up to about here. Okay, now we'll go ground level again. And we'll come along this way. Really? That's not going to work, is it? Okay. Uh... Okay, well, let's, uh, let's see. We can get across this way, right? Okay, we can get across on that angle. Okay. Okay, that we can get across. Okay. 
So I'm, I guess we can do that. And then this can come up. No, this. Yeah. Okay, that gets us co a connection here. Is this like not buildable or something? Uh, where? Oh. Okay, well, if we, no. If we do this. No. Okay. What if we get rid of that and we try that again? Yeah, that would be a good thing. Uh, so we're at ground level here. So we can come up, come along here. And if we come across here. No. Okay. Well, we're going to have to I'm going to have to viaduct over the water, I think. Okay, yeah. Now, if we come up to here, yeah. And we come down here. We can get across the road, I think. Yeah, we can get across the road there. And that, okay, that works. Good. Now, uh, over here, we got all this mess here that we have to go through, so we're not going to uh, connect around that way uh, quite so easily. Uh, okay, if we do this and then this, I think that's tolerable. Yeah, I think that's tolerable. Now here, um, yeah, we're doing... Uh, we're doing the uh, the tunnel thing here as well. Uh, okay, like that. And then straight up through here. Yeah. And up through here. And up to here and then around like that. Okay, I think that will work. Yeah. Now, that's 184 million to build, which uh, we can actually do. So we'll build that. Right. Um, so we can now, uh, lines, we can bring the airport line across. Uh, so from here, we add uh, this one this one and yeah i don't think we'll continue on that line so we'll go back and back and back and back okay now uh, turn that off ideal speed estimate okay so i think we're going to want to put a second train on there so we'll we'll grab this and we're gonna clone I think we'll put two more trains on here okay I think two th I think think three trains along there should theoretically be enough um, right now for the this line uh, we need to, starting at Thorncliff, starting before Thorncliff, so starting at uh, Greenview, yeah, nope, starting at Thorncliff, okay, now uh, we need to add here, and also here. Yeah. And here. Yeah. Okay. Now we can estimate the travel times again. And we can go over to here. Um, you know what? 
let's set these to four. Yeah. I think with the number of trains, four will work there. Uh, let's uh, also grab uh, the airport line and uh, we'll set the intervals on there too. Okay, so I think that should that should easily keep up with the uh, oh right this one has faster trains on it yeah okay so we'll let the trains run faster of course uh, because well you know letting the trains run faster is probably better now. Now, the question is going to be how, you know, we spend a boatload of cash. So the question is going to be how's the, uh, the payoff going to be. Now, this, uh, this connection up here uh, will move some passengers around. It'll take some strain off going around this way. Uh, but I think the next thing I'm going to do, uh, probably leave this alone for a little bit. And try going for uh, and, and the first stop in the inner city up here at Airdrie. So I'll definitely uh, want to have a stop at Airdrie. Uh, I'm going to have uh, an inner city, you know, stop in Airdrie because uh, it's big enough. Red Deer, uh, maybe Leduc, and obviously Edmonton somewhere. Uh, you know, something like that. Whoops. Yeah, don't zoom out and then scroll around. So, you know, we've got some some stuff going here. So my ultimate plan, of course, uh, my grand plan, is to build, you know, a, a rail network that covers all of North and South America, right? Now, it's too bad we can't wrap around the uh, map going you know we can't wrap around this way uh, if we could then we could build a line across uh, the Bering Strait but no we can't do that oh look at that funky distortion as we scroll around yeah well that's fun uh, anyway uh, I think we've done all we we need to do for today so I'm going to uh, well, I'm going to, the oh, fares are up, uh, I'm going to uh, put the cut here and I'll, I'll be back uh, next time with uh, some more fiddling around uh, as we uh, probably do something other than what I said we're going to do uh, and uh, get more, more connections going and collect more cash, right? Uh, that's the goal at this point is we need to get enough cash coming in that we can afford to start doing big projects without uh, running out of money and even though we we have room to take out loans we'll still run out of money if we don't have enough income right so that's that's the goal here is to plod through this and get the income going because I don't find this sort of thing particularly fun uh, playing with unlimited cash so I don't play with unlimited cash uh, but anyway I'm going to uh, run this forward at max speed mode for a bit and uh, see uh, see how things are doing and then I'll be back uh, I'll be back with another project of some description uh, next time around so uh, you know stay healthy uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much especially now that there's a light at the end of the tunnel and uh, yeah see you back next time <laughs>